I'm going to show you how to use Midjourney AI to create some awesome seamless pattern designs like this ones. And the best part is that you can sell these on marketplaces like Etsy for potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now, the reason why these pattern designs are so profitable is because they are really adaptable images that can pretty much go anywhere from a cell phone case to a mouse pad. And people are selling these on the internet for thousands of dollars every month. So not only am I going to show you how to optimize your prompts to create the most amazing patterns ever, but we're also going to go over the many ways in which you can monetize these patterns and maximize your profits. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on the video. It really makes a huge difference. Now let's get into it. Now consider this. Patterns can be sold in two different ways. As digital downloads that buyers can print themselves and use in any number of ways, or as physical products in the form of print-on-demand items. Now when it comes to digital downloads, stores like this are making hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue. And considering that the profit margins for this kind of product is 91% and that these are images that you can easily create in minutes with the help of AI tools, you can see how this can be a very attractive side hustle. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can profit twice from this product by selling it both as a digital download and as a print-on-demand product so you can create some amazing designs like this Minecraft-inspired cell phone case or this beautiful printable paper. Now, the best part is that you don't even need to be a professional graphic designer to create cool images like this because AI is going to do all the heavy lifting for us. Now, I tried every single AI design tool out there, both paid and free, and I'll show you the one that I believe is the absolute winner when it comes to creating designs like this that you can sell all over the internet. So before we jump into how to create these patterns using AI, let's take a look at what kind of designs are already selling well on Etsy. And as you'll see, there really is a wide range of options that you can try out. So I discovered this store a while ago and I didn't really pay much attention to it until I realized how it suddenly switched to selling mostly digital download patterns. Now, as you can see, this store has made over $115,000 in just a couple of years by selling mostly digital art. And already these seamless patterns are among their best selling products. Now, as you can see, this bundle of 20 colorful flower patterns has already brought in over $1,000 in revenue. Now, it might not seem like a lot, but wait until you see the next example. This other store also specializes in selling digital art and it has already generated over $323,000 in revenue doing that. Now, as you can see, they sell some very simple pattern designs that are actually quite popular amongst buyers. These, for example, are very simple doodle designs that I actually find quite fun, to be honest. And I'm clearly not alone because this design has already generated over $3,000 in revenue. And trust me when I tell you guys that creating designs like this can take you no longer than just a few minutes. And finally, talking about selling downloadable patterns, this store, which as you can see, sells also more Rococo kind of patterns, I guess, has already earned well over $3 million in revenue. And remember, because these are digital products, a 91% profit means that they pocketed at least $2.9 million from selling patterns like these. Now, granted, this store has been in business for a while and it certainly has a lot of listings, but it just goes to show you that this business has an almost unlimited potential for scalability. Now, what about selling those same patterns as physical products? Now, as you can see, this store specializes in selling patterns for drinking tumblers, which is a product that is currently trending on Etsy. And they sell these 3D flower patterns as printable downloads. Now, as you can see, these are doing really well, and this store has made over $130,000 doing that. But the most interesting part about this is that they were able to make that in just a couple of months of selling this product on Etsy. And judging by the looks of these patterns, I can almost guarantee that they were made using AI. In fact, I was able to replicate them to the detail using Midjourney. But what if you're not into flower patterns? Well, you can sell gaming-related patterns, food patterns, cards, whatever you can think of. Really, the sky's the limit. And talking about sky, what about some printable sky-inspired patterns? So let's move on to Midjourney so I can show you how to create these. So just go to the Midjourney website and click Join the Beta. Now, you can definitely try Midjourney for free to see how it works and experiment with the prompts. But because we want to sell the images we generate, we need to get a subscription, which will give us commercial rights over the images we create. So you can get a subscription for as little as $10 a month. Now, once you've launched the Discord app, you want to create your own server to make your workflow more efficient. If you create your images in any of the existing servers, you'll have to be looking for them amongst all the images that other people are creating, and it can really be time consuming. So just click here where it says add server and then select create my own, and then choose for me and my friends, and finally choose a name for your server. And you're set. It is as easy as that. All you need to do now is invite the Midjourney bot to your server, and this way you'll have your own personal space to create your images. Now, before we start creating, you want to make sure that the settings are correct. So just type forward slash settings, and here, make sure that the latest Midjourney version 5.1 is selected. This will get you the best results. And below, you can choose the stylization level. A low level means that Midjourney will take your prompt as literal as possible, and a higher level means that the AI is going to use more of its own imagination, I guess we could call it that, to create the images. So you definitely want to play around with this 
this and see what gets you the best results. But for now, we're going to leave it at very high. Okay, and now for the fun part. We're going to start by creating a doodle pattern similar to the example we saw before. So just type for slash imagine and then type in your prompt. Now for the prompt, you want to take reference from the images you want to replicate. So just look at the keywords that describe that image and use those same keywords as your prompt. And because we want this to be a seamless pattern, we're going to add two dashes and the word tile. This is basically a command that will tell the AI that you want your image to be a seamless pattern. You can use other commands as well and I'll show you those later. So now we just hit enter and the AI will generate four different images based on our prompt. And when it's done, it will display a series of buttons below the images. These are really useful. The U buttons will upscale any of the images you like, the V buttons will create four more variants of any specific image, and the last button will re-roll the prompt and create four entirely new images based on the same idea. So let's say you like image number three, you can choose to generate four variants of that image. Now let's say we want to upscale image number four, we can do that by clicking the U4 button. Now at this point, if you're satisfied with the results, you're pretty much done. I mean, you got yourself a seamless pattern that if you stack it next to each other, it will repeat infinitely. Now the great thing is that there's a lot we can do to the prompt to get even more awesome results. Remember the stylization settings I showed you before? Well, let's type a new prompt to create a more colorful pattern and let's run it on all four stylizations to see how the results vary from one another. And as you can see, the lower the stylization, the simpler the design, and the higher, the more detail and style the image has. This can be extremely useful because depending on the level of detail you want to get, you can create more or less intricate images. Now you can define a specific stylization level as a command, typing dash dash s and an input like let's say 500. And you'll be getting a level of detail in between the higher stylization level and the middle. So you can definitely play around with these to see what kind of results you get. You can go as high as 50,000 if you want to. And again, creating doodle designs is just scratching the surface. If we really want to get creative, we can try generating some Minecraft inspired patterns. We could also try some gaming themed patterns to go on mouse pads or desk accessories. What about some anime inspired skyline, for example, to use as a wallpaper? Or maybe a more cartoonish bubbly pattern to go on a shower curtain. Now, as you can see, the options are literally endless and it is just crazy how much fun you can have going down the mid-journey rabbit hole. And the whole process is so easy that creating awesome designs becomes really enjoyable. So once you got your design, you can use free websites like PhotoP to increase the size of your images if you need to, or you can just use Photoshop to do the same. And once you're happy with the results, you can just upload these to Etsy and sell them as digital downloads for a 91% profit. But what about selling them as print-on-demand products? Well, that is just as easy. All you need to do is go to a website like Printify create an account and choose from a vast catalog of products. You can literally bring these designs on almost anything, but the products that I believe go best with patterns are accessories like cell phone cases, mouse pads, travel accessories, and of course drinking tumblers, which are currently a very trendy product on Etsy. All you need to do is choose a product, select the print provider, and then simply click on start designing. And here's where you import your design from your computer. Place it on the product canvas and adjust it to your liking. Now notice that in the case of a drinking tumbler, the printable area is actually rectangular and not squarish. So all you need to do is go to the right hand side of the screen and click here where it says create pattern. And now the image is going to repeat and you can just adjust the size of the pattern to your liking. The same exact process applies if you want to create a cell phone case, a mouse pad, a towel or a jigsaw puzzle. All that's left to do now is connect your Printify account with your Etsy shop and your set. Now on the next video, I'll show you even more mid-journey settings that you can use to create your digital products. So stay tuned for that. I really hope this was helpful for you guys. Please leave your comments down below. I'll be more than happy to answer all of your questions. And don't forget to subscribe and drop a like on the video. See you guys next week.